gonna feel a everyday look. Her, her, her. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you an everyday kind of glam, not really glam look. <laughs> um, I basically do this look every day, not every day because I don't wear makeup every day anymore. I'm over it. I need to let my face breathe. I've understood that. I've learned that. Yeah, but I mean when there's days where I want to look a little more extra put together and more glammed or whatever, I'm going to work or I'm going to do errands or if I'm going to go out like for the day with my cousin or something like that, this is what I would do. It's pretty simple. By the way, if you guys like my hair, I do have a tutorial on it and you guys could legit get this same exact hair. My hair is not naturally like this anymore, but I'll leave the link down below as to how you guys could achieve this look. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I get this look, then please keep watching. I'm going to start by priming my face with my Hourglass Veil Primer. Then I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I am in the shade Desert Beige. Did you guys notice that my face is getting clear? And it's crazy because I've stopped using the stuff, all the pills that the dermatologist gave me because they made me nauseous. I'm still using the cream that he gave me but I've been doing other things to my face. so coming soon in a video don't worry I just really want to get it all together to be able to tell you guys exactly how everything went about now I look even crazier so since this is an everyday look I usually don't do eyeshadow then I'm gonna go into my wet and wild concealer I'm in the color light medium beige Then I'm going to set my concealer with my Laura Mercier powder. I don't like to bake, but I do like to really pat in the setting powder. The only places I bake is my smile creases. And then I do leave a little bit of powder on my nose so it looks a little brighter just to help me with my contour. I like to go in and contour my face. I'm using my Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'm using the last two colors. And I'm using an e.l.f. concealer brush. One of my favorite brushes to contour because it helps me be a little more precise with my contour. And then I contour my nose with whatever is left over from that shade. Make that nose look slimmer, honey. Little snatch nose. Going in with the darker shade to make that contour a little more prominent. Now this does look a little too sharp, so and a little too dark. So I'm gonna use my Elf blending brush, and I'm gonna blend it out, and I'm gonna take it around my face anyway. I'm gonna take my Japanese brush and I'm gonna go into Max Give Me Sun. And I'm gonna put some on my cheeks, a little around my forehead, just to bronze myself up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of blush, just a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm gonna use Sweet As Cocoa by MAC, as always, what's new. I'm gonna go back into my Laura Mercier powder and I'm gonna clean up my contour. Now that I look crazy, I'm gonna take my Sonia Kasha contour brush and I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte powder I'm in the shade 500 Sun Beige. And I'm just gonna set my face. 
And I'm also going to dust off the powder that we put. Since it's like a everyday look, I don't know, when I do everyday looks, I like to look a little glowier than usual. I like to go in with a cream highlighter. And this one is, I got it all over my fingers, great. Skin Glow from Girlactic, and it's in the shade Glamorous. And I'm going to use my Royal and Lane Nickel Highlight and Glow Brush. Using my finger because it's picking up more product than the brush. I'm gonna go into my extra dimension finish. <laughs> what the fuck? Extra dimension. Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Beaming Blush. It's from MAC. And I'm gonna keep highlighting. And I'm using the Royal Brush. And every time I highlight, I don't understand why my nose starts running. Like, my God. I like to spray a little bit of Fix Plus onto my face. Just so that everything blends in well together. Just a tiny bit because I'm very oily so, you know. Then to set it all in, I like to take my Milani Make It Last setting spray. And for some reason, this spray, it like sprays you like direct. And you have to basically spray all the way from like back here. Crazy. I like it though. It smells really good. It smells like a perfume, but I don't get why we got a spray from out here. Oh, it was too close. It was too close. That was way too close. And I'm not the only one that says it. I've seen somebody say it. So. I don't know what's going on. And then I go in and set them with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm gonna use my Colossal Big Shot Mascara and my Roller Lash from Benefit. I combine these two so that I get that very long lash. And I don't know if anybody else does this, I like to go on top of my lash as well. I feel like it really helps me curve my lashes. I can never do mascara without a mistake. Like, they don't want you to have perfect eyelashes. My nose is running again. I'm gonna go into my lower lash with the same mascara. Put your ugly mascara face on. Ain't got time for no loving. Lurie return her her spin. Six feet and the ain't gonna get that book in Facebook. Then if I want to be a little extra, I do put a little bit of highlight in the inner corners of my eye. Need a brush. I'm just gonna use a flat brush. Like a very skinny flat brush. I'm using an Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in the color Riviera. Looks like this. Mm -mm. I need that to glow. I need you to activate. Activate now. Oh, yeah. I see Tom. Better than my lipstick. You are baba. But I'm using Kat Von D's Lolita. I like to use this because it makes my lips look a little plump and it's just a pretty like flush to my lips, so. K 
okay it's running again and this is the final look guys i hope you like it it's very simple and still like a full face but not so extreme you know But I hope you guys really like this look. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.